Hey guys, so we are now looking at lesson two, estimating sums and differences, which is your addition and subtraction problems or questions. Okay, so I brought down the questions to begin with to save a little time. So when we are estimating, we want it to be a very quick, easy way. Okay, it has to be fast. That's the whole idea of estimating. To give you a rough idea, very quick, of what your answer will be, your outcome, okay? So, the first thing, when you have smaller numbers, we want you to round to the nearest whole number, to make it easy, okay? So there's two things. There's rounding to the nearest whole number, then there's rounding to the nearest compatible number. Okay, so compatible number and numbers that work together very easy that you can work out mentally. Okay, so it's very easy for you to change. Okay, let's say we have 4.9 times by 7, right? We don't do 4.9 times 7. We want a compatible number, right? Easy that you can do like that because you already know your times tables. You change that to 5. 5 times 7 is 35, and you know that already, okay? This is what we mean by compatible numbers. So we round it to the nearest whole number, then it's also convenient, it's a compatible number, right? But now, let's say we have um, 13.4 plus 8.1. We know we can change this to 13. The 4 rounds down and it goes to 13. And the nearest whole number, 8.1, you can change it to 8. Now then, it should be quick enough to say 13 plus 8, 21. Okay? However, to make it a little faster, just as a quick mental math, you can read 13 plus 7 is 20. And then straight away you're thinking, ah, okay, my answer has to lie around there. Okay, so there's many more ways and better examples for compatible numbers, okay? But for now, let's talk about rounding to the nearest whole number to make this easy, okay? So, let's take a look at the first problem. 23.8 subtract 4.7, okay? So, when we estimate, we do not want decimals in the answer. We want a whole number only, okay? That's the first very important point. An estimation is just the need for a whole number only, okay? So, we can easily change this to 23.8, eight rounds up. Remember from topic one, we did the rounding of up or down, right? So this can become 24, easily, it's so close. Subtract 4.7, the seven goes up, it's close to five. So you can say, we can estimate it as 24, subtract 5, which is 19. Now because it's a small number, that's very easy for you to work with. So that's okay. But if you wanted to make it easier and maybe faster for some of you, you can just round this up to 25. And say 25 subtract 5 gives you 20. Okay? When there's estimating, there's, no, there's not that much difference between right and wrong. We're talking accurate and more accurate. Accurate is how close it is to the actual answer, okay? So to say 25 subtract 5 is also fine. No one's going to say to you, oh, that was wrong, no, it's not accurate enough. It's okay. So either one of them is fine. Now let's move to a slightly bigger number, okay? 38.9. 38, it's so close to 40. Okay, so why not just round it to 40? Do we really want to work with 39 as a subtraction? No, not even me. I don't want to. I'm going to change this to 40. Okay? 21.4. So close to 20. So just use 20. Okay? Now, not only have we rounded them to be easy numbers, but these numbers are also very compatible because all you have to do is for subtract 2. How easy is that? Which gives you 2 and 0 is to stay there. 20. Quick, easy way. 
Now let's move on to this one. 86.9. 86 is so close to 90, right? So let's just use 90. 18. Do we really want to keep 18 the same? It's already a whole number, right? There's no decimal. But 90 subtract 18, do I really want to think about it? I only need an estimation, right? Change it to 20, why not? You see, the whole idea of estimation is to make it quick and easy for you just to see where your answer should be, where your answer needs to be around, okay? So for all of these, we can see the answer to this should be somewhere around 19 and 20. Should be around 20, should be around 70, okay? Doesn't matter if it's one or two added or one or two subtracted, no, doesn't. 179 plus 277.1. We're now working with much bigger numbers. Round to the nearest 100, or the nearest benchmark number. Benchmark numbers are like 100, 150, 200, or any of the numbers which you can see which are comfortable, right? This one, I could change it to 180 plus 280. I don't want to work with them kind of numbers. I just want a quick estimate, right? I want to be done with this in a second. So I'm going to change this to 200 plus 300. Can you see that, guys? 179 is so close to 200, and 277 is so close. I'm just going to say as an estimation, it's going to be somewhere near 500. Why not? Right? It's just a quick fix. The gain of this one, 576, so close to 600. 94, so close to 100, okay? So our estimate is 700. That's it guys. So for this lesson, very quick, very easy estimates, okay? Nothing more to think of, don't overcomplicate it, thinking, oh, I'm going to pronounce it, there's whole number, there's 10, there's 100. Do whatever is quick and easy and close.